What's up guys, welcome to today's video. So today what we're gonna be focusing on is a technique called air touch balayage. Uh, I'm gonna start by prepping the hair with the Joico Defy Damage Pro Series 1. Uh, this is a bond protector, so I'm gonna spray it on the hair. That's gonna help with any bond breakage that would happen in the lightening process. Uh, I'm also gonna use Free Play from Joico. It's a clay-based lightener for balayage. And then I'm gonna use the Joico 40 Volume uh, developer from Lumashine. So, the technique is basically this. It's you take a section, I took about a half inch section, I hold the hair tight in my hand, and then I blow dry over top of the section, which removes some of the hair. So basically what this does is it replaces uh, the traditional tease highlight technique without actually roughing up the hair and getting it all tangled, and then you have to deal with that at the shampoo bowl. So uh, super cool technique. Uh, so again, I take a half inch section, I spray a little bit of the uh, Pro Series 1 over top of the section, and then I take my blow dryer on cool, make sure you're not frying the hair before you put that lightener on. So I put it on cool, and then I separate some of the section, and then I paint onto the hair. This is such a cool technique in the fact that um, it's easy, it's quick. Um, I can take thicker sections because I'm breaking it up using uh, the blow dryer, and then I just paint that saturation on and I get a beautiful end result, which you guys will see obviously at the end. Uh, so just hand painting it on using that clay based lightener. Now here's a tip. Um, as I'm going through the section, um, I wanna make sure that I paint the lightener, especially at the base on top of the section and I don't go underneath. That will keep it from bleeding through as I lay those sections over. So we're really just painting on the surface of the hair and then once I get towards the ends, then I kind of work back and forth horizontally across the section to really saturate those ends because those can fall all the way down. So again, Pro Series 1 over top hit it with the blow dryer, loosen up some of those uh, those hairs, and then hold the section tight and paint through with my brush. Now, another uh, fun fact about this technique is that uh, it's great for super thick hair, but it also could be great for thin hair. So a question came up that, um, would, would you do this same technique on fine hair as you would on thick hair? Now, my answer to that is yes, but, I would do more blow drying on thick hair uh, based on how much I want to diffuse the line that I'm creating with the highlights. So if I want a really diffuse line, I have really thick hair, I'm gonna do a little extra blow drying, but it takes very little time to go through with the blow dryer and work it through. Now I'm working into the side section, uh, spray the Pro Series 1 on first, build those bonds up, and then work. You can see how those hairs just fall underneath and then that gives me my section to, to paint and I just go through and I start painting. Now, one thing that I, I thought about when I was starting this technique is uh, I wanna look at the practicality of it. Does it actually make sense to go in and do this technique instead of teasing the hair. And I think it makes a ton of sense because of the fact that you're not tangling the hair, you're not damaging the hair by pushing it up and really working that teasing into it. And then you're not damaging the hair by getting her back to the bowl and trying to comb out all that teasing. So uh, for that reason, I think this is a better technique. And I also think this is a better technique because it's quicker than doing a weave foil. Uh, it's quicker because you don't have to untangle the hair and you just go through with that blow dryer it happens so fast so and the other thing i really love about this as opposed to doing a weave foil is the fact that i can take thicker sections so i'm taking about one inch at a time so i'm really quickly making my way up the head shape uh, and not having to worry about that time constraint so getting a lot more saturation with the lightener uh, separating a ton more of the hair than a traditional weave and it's a more seamless effect in the end result So when I'm painting on the lightener, you can see I'm still doing that kind of traditional balayage V effect. Um, you could go up to the scalp if you wanted because of the separation that you get, but I wanted this to be a little bit more of a lived in look.
So now as I move into the top section, things are gonna change a little bit, but not by much. Uh, really the biggest thing that's gonna change is that I'm not gonna diffuse as much hair out with the blow dryer. So I'm just gonna take out a tiny bit and then I'm gonna do heavier painting with the lightener. Uh, the reason for this is I wanted to have a nice bright top, a nice bright veil kind of falling over to the side. So I really saturate that lightener on, again, not going through the, the section at the base, but just laying that lightener on top of the section and then painting it completely through the ends uh, as I work that lightener down. See, still working that V shape, so kind of an emptiness up towards the base in the middle of that section but I paint it pretty close up there and I get it nice and close right around the hairline area because that's where that, that kind of bright piece that flows over her face, that's what you want. You want that brightness in there. Finishing up with the last section, uh, again, still gonna heavily uh, saturate, definitely more in the front of the section than in the back, just saturating it through, and then uh, we'll let it process. All right, so that's what the technique looks like when we're all uh, applied. And now I'm gonna let it sit for about 30 minutes. Uh, in this case, you could let it sit longer and you can see the end result. It's beautiful, it's rich, it's bright, uh, it's seamless, which is my favorite part about this technique. And you can see the difference between uh, a, a non-colored mannequin head and a colored mannequin head. You can see how bright it pops. It just looks so beautiful. So hope you guys like this technique. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.